One of the scribes approached. When he heard them debating and saw that Jesus answered them well, he asked them, Which command is the most important of all? Jesus answered, The most important is, Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other command greater than these. I'm always baffled about the attribute of love in the Christian life. How there is many times so much an absence of love when love is what truly identifies us as disciples of Jesus Christ. Jesus says this, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples when you have love one for another. Not if you preach, not if you teach, not if you're a deacon or a deaconess or on the choir or a Sunday school teacher or the secretary of the church or a worship leader or a YouTube channel maker. No, he said, you know, you'll know, people will know, and I'll know that you are my disciple when you have love one for another. So these two commandments are of the greatest commandment. I mean, what better gift can we get in having the ability to love God with all of our strength and everything within us and then being able to love our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, anyone who is standing next to us, what I consider my neighbor, no, no matter where I am in this world, whoever is by my side is my neighbor, is my brother, is my sister. And the blessing of the ability of to love, the kind of love that is shed abroad in our hearts through Jesus Christ, it doesn't expect love in return. And that's a lesson that I had to learn over years. You don't have to love me back for me to love you. That's how the world does it. But it doesn't have to work like that in the kingdom of God. My love for you, I wish and hope the best for you. And I would do, wouldn't do anything to put a stumbling block in your way. That's love. So my dear brothers and sisters, not just on February 14th, Valentine's Day, but as believers, let us love all year around, no matter what, whether it's reciprocated or not, it's okay. So God bless you, I love you, and have a great day. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can buy a journal, so can you. And I didn't say welcome in the beginning, so welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord, Bible Journaling with Sherry. Thanks for watching. Take care. I hope that you are blessed by this process video. And just so you know, this is the print, pray, and print, pray, and slay shop. I have some extras that are left over from my stash and my digital download rant that I did. And so I'm just deciding to use this in this particular journaling entry. Journaling entry. And so I'm just playing around with the elements, seeing what I want to do and how I want to design it because I'm using several pieces from different kits from her shop.